Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Garrett, menopause expert and doctor of pharmacy, and I help women go from surviving to thriving if they're struggling with symptoms of perimenopause and menopause. And you can find out more about my work at drannagarrett.com. And what I want to talk to you about in this video today is a very common misconception. And the reason this even came to my mind is because I was out in another menopause group, um, which I won't name, but there are a lot of them out there and some have better information than others. And there was a woman who was just insistent that um, we should not be supplementing hormones because it would cause our body to actually shut off production of its own natural ability to make hormones. And I understand where this thinking comes from because hormone production is a feedback loop in your brain. So when your hormones are low, your body, um, your, your brain turns on and it says, make more hormones. The only problem with this thinking is that in situations like perimenopause, and we're talking about progesterone specifically here, you, if you aren't ovulating, there ain't no feedback loop. Um, your, your body's signal to turn on progesterone production is the corpus luteum, which is only made if you ovulate. And so if you're not ovulating, then your progesterone levels become very low. And that's where a lot of the symptoms of perimenopause come from. So um, she was having none of this explanation. So it is okay to supplement progesterone, and the same is true with estrogen and testosterone. The way our bodies were designed, the, the levels are intended to fall as we age. And in a perfect world, those levels are gonna fall gradually together in balance, but it is not a perfect world. And so because we're exposed to so many compounds that act like estrogen in our bodies from cosmetics and plastics and sunscreens and pesticides, you name it, they're, they're, they all act like estrogen at the receptor level in our bodies. So what happens is we have a big imbalance of estrogen to progesterone, which results in symptoms like weight gain and insomnia and breast tenderness, fatigue. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And so supplemental hormones can be life-changing for some women. Um, I mean, we've had women in my group, the Hormone Harmony Club, who are, you know, they're suicidal because their hormones are so out of balance. So obviously for somebody in that situation, hormone replacement could be a godsend. Um, and even, you know, for people like me who had very mild symptoms of insomnia and breast tenderness, oral progesterone has really been helpful for me. And I've taken it for, I think, five years at this point. So, um, if you hear that you shouldn't be supplementing hormones, then that is incorrect. So please take that myth out of your brain. The only time that I have seen any evidence that it might not be a good idea to supplement a hormone is with melatonin. Um, your brain makes melatonin and basically that is the hormone that tells your body to respond to changes in light so you become sleepy. And if you are supplementing that, then it is possible to um, have your brain's natural production of that affected. It doesn't mean that it's not okay to take occasionally, but chronic use may be a problem. So that's it for today. I uh, hope this has been helpful and that you've learned something new and I will see you next time. Thank you.